Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to E-Dogs Reviews. Today I will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy United Leader Class Beast Wars Universe Tiger Hawk. Here is Tiger Hawk on the right. He does come packaged in that way. Plus there are a few accessories that we have to uh, add on to him, if you will. Now this figure is for ages eight and up in the boxes on the left, as you can see, he is already in his oat mode there. On the side of the box, we have all of these various characters here with the 40 year uh, anniversary on the bottom that says Transformers. On the back of the box, it says Beast Wars Universe Tigertron. We have him in a robot mode. We have him with his uh, two accessories, if you will. And then we have the 43 steps that turn him into um, uh, this alt mode. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. And then we have this side of the box. We have an up and close picture of Tiger Hawk's face, which is dead on to what I saw in the show. And then we have an, a little bit of far away shot on the bottom using his wrist cannon on the top of the box it just says transformers legacy united there and on the bottom of the box is barcodes and trademarks and stuff like that so let's get into it first thing i want to do is get the accessories out of the way so first accessory is this gray piece right these are his uh electric cannons that go on this arm right here and um, you could put it on this side, but they really want you to put it on that side. Plus, it is on the same side as the original, which we'll, you know, talk about that also in this video. Another thing we get are these two accessories for the wings. On the original, this purple was the same color as this green. I'm not exactly sure why they made that change, but these two things right here should have been green, but they're purple. There's nothing I could do about that. And they plug into this spot right here. Now, technically you're only supposed to get one, but they decided to uh, double up uh, on these wings here. Now, before I put that on, you could also use this as a, a weapon of sorts. You can have it like that, you know, if you wanted to. Or you could turn it around, you have it look like that, whatever you want. But for now, we're gonna stick it over here. Right, make sure that looks good, all right? So here is the figure. We're going to slowly go around the block, as you uh, always do. And then we're going to show you the side. This is kind of back heavy for the figure, but they already made measures to you know, keep the ratchets and the hips and the legs really uh, tight, if you will. Really snug to keep them standing upright. It may or may not be too far out for some people, but that's what it is. Here, is it, here it is from the back. And uh, we have these little green things here and there. And we have this little green thing there. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to be, but it's there. And then we have that side, right? Same thing. We do it up and close of his face. Let's see, if, let's see if I can do it. That's up close of his face. Now, if they had done some light piping, that would have been next level time type of stuff. Now, the original figure had a spring-loaded gimmick. And if you had a copy like mine's, this side of the figure was on like a hair trigger. And uh, it, the figure had a spring-loaded gimmick on both wings. You press a, uh, a button, and these things are, were supposed to flip out. On my copy, if you were to do that, it would automatically pop this, this, peep, uh, this piece outwards for some odd reason. So this is much better than what they did here. And you can just manually do this now. You can bring this out. 
like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Bring that out like that without worrying, without worrying about any type of springs or anything like that. Any kind of, you know, uh, mishaps going on, trying to fix your figure like 15 times. Yeah, so this is a little better. Now, as for these right here, you could do two things. If you have your special effects parts from your jet fire, siege jet fire, I should say, you can pop these in here. And you can have that. That's the single ones. If you want to double up, you can do that. If you want to do a triple, let's see, let me get that in here. You can do that, right? Now, another thing this can do is you can actually pop this out of here, right? So all you have to do is get it out of this groove. Give it a give it a turn. Let's put that back. And you can use this peg on the bottom. And you can turn those cannons to a hand handgun, if you will. And again, we're gonna use a double. We're gonna use double here. You can put the double there. You can have that going on. And you can do it on both sides if you wanted to. If you will, if that's too much, you can just drop that one. You can have that. Okay, right? we're gonna put that back on. All right? make sure it goes into the groove, which it does. We're gonna bring that down because we're not ready for that. We are not ready for that. All right? Another thing you can do before I move on, do you have these two nubs here? And you can totally put one there, right? If you're shooting one, and then you can put another one uh, there. Like that. So there you have that. Now, Tigertron, he kind of sort of works for the Vox, and the Vox were these aliens, so he becomes a Vox emissary for those guys to uh, get rid of the, uh, the uh, I believe in one, I want to say the, the Predacons, but pretty much he's going to deal with the Predacons first and then move on to the Maximals. That, that's what I think it was. Now, he is the strongest Transformer in that continuity because this is way after Unicron. And uh, in this mode, he possesses elemental powers to summon earthquakes, electric storms, and, tight, and tsunamis. That's how strong this guy is. Now, he can use his wings as shields if he needed to. And, you know, he could shoot missiles. Now, we didn't get anything for these things right here. Um, hold on. Let me see, let me fix this. There we go. We didn't get anything for this right here. Um, these are supposed to be um, like a machine gun type of thing, uh, like a Phoenix machine gun type of thing here. We didn't get any small special effects parts, and I don't have one on hand to, to actually demonstrate that. But, yeah, he is that strong. So we're going to go through... Our articulation all right so we have an inner shoulder and an outer shoulder to deal with and uh, the best way to do that is moving these wings out like that like so and we can definitely move the arm like that until it hits the shoulder I mean until it hits the wing now if you wanted to you can bring this all the way back and you can go all the way around if you wanted to Right. Right. So on this arm, what I've done is a mistransformation. Let me just dim the light just a little bit. Uh, I left this unlocked. You see here to move this arm. So this is the outer shoulder, and we can go about that much on the inner shoulder like that. Right. And this is the reason why I undid this, which is the outer shoulder to get that all the way out like that. So you can utilize that if you want to. 
you bring that down, you just close that. This bicep swivel over there. 90 degrees there. The wrists, the wrists don't move. They're they're pegged in. Okay, so you have to lift this up. You can bring up the leg like that. It's on a very nice ratchet system there. You can bring it on down on this knee. That's very high. So you can see where his foot is. That's a very high step there that he's doing there. Bring this out. You bring this out like that. You can swivel at the thigh. And there is a ratchet system for the transformation. Very sturdy there. And there's a thud in right here and right there. There's only one. So that's what we got. Now on the foot, it doesn't have a, a rocker to move in and out. It only moves uh, backwards for the transformation. So you're very limited there. If we want to bring this wing back, you can, if you will. And you can take this leg and you can bring it all the way back if you wanted to. Like that. You want to bend it at the knee. We're looking for like right about there. Outward movement, you can do that. Bring this down. All right. Now, as for the wings, let me just show that off. That's as far as you're going to get going all the way back. I like to arch those at an angle. And then we're going to bring those down like that. I wish there was more ratchet points here. Like, you know, so this way you can adjust it just a little bit tiny more. But this is okay. You just have to, you know, be easy with it till you get where you like it the best, I guess. All right? The head is on a ball joint. You can go all the way back like that. You can go all the way back like that. Head can go up like so, and then it goes down just a little. You have the nice maximal symbol there. I do believe the background of this is supposed to be silver, and I could be wrong. And last but not least, the waist. So waist goes about that far, waist goes about this far. I'm not exactly sure what's stopping it. Hold on, give me a second. I can actually show you what's stopping it. We have this section right here that's bumping into this white piece right here, where this um, this pin is. And the same thing on the opposite side. Let me see, this pin right there, it's, and it's, it gets stopped right there. So it's not gonna go no further. Did that. Right, so we have this piece right here, this green piece. I'm not exactly sure what this piece is. If I, I wanna make a guess, I think it's supposed to be like a cockpit thing. I could be wrong. Please tell me you know. If you know what this, this section is, uh, please let me know. Is it for a cockpit or is it for like a spark chamber? Like what like what is that? And uh, that is about it. Um, we're gonna go into the transformation. It does take 43 steps to get there. And um, once you get used to it, it's it's a it's an it's a neat transformation. It's not that too, too difficult. Uh, it's a little bit more than the original uh, because the original this gun, this electric gun here, was mounted to the forearm, and they decided to make these two pieces. That's the, that, that's the difference there. But everything else seems to be the same except for this right here, and which we'll get to in a second. So what we want to do here is we want to uh, let's deal with the the hands first. I, would, I like dealing with the hands first. So you do this, go in underneath here, pull this panel down. You take the hand, fold it away. There's a there's a small peg right there. You can't see it because of the light, and there is a peg right there on the bottom. Just put those together. Same thing on this side, you get underneath here, pull this down, you flip this down into that cavity, bring that door up like that. Next, you want to get these arms out of the way. So you want to 
untab these arms by moving these two things, like these, these claws. So you want to straighten these claws. And you want to take these arms. You want to do. You want to get these as high up as you can, like that. Next, we want to take these side pieces right here, and you want to untab those. Right, we're gonna bring those down, like that. Right. While we're here, we're gonna take care of these legs. So you want to bring these down and around like that. Same thing on this side, you want to bring this down and around like that. At this point, you want to get the backpack where the wings is, you want to bring that backwards so you, like that. And if you need more room, you want to spread these, like, these wings out like so, if you need the extra room. Like that, okay. We want to pull on the back of his noggin, like that. I like to turn the head around at this point. Mind you, it is very tough to get the head out. Uh, you might want to use a tool of some sort to get that out of this uh, the cavity here. And you want to just flip that inside like so, like that. Next, you want to bring this up, his skirt, this front of the skirt, and you want to separate the legs. Like that. You want to bring these out. Like so. All right. So while we're here, there's a tab right there. Let me see if I can show it to you. There's a tab there, and it's going to plug into an area down here. I'm not exactly sure but it plugs into somewhere down here. And you want to just bring this all the way around until it plugs in. Right, so you should have something that looks like this. I know it looks, it looks messy, but we're getting there, right? So we take this top piece where this weird tree is and we want to, we want to turn it that way. Hmm. Now we're going to take this arm with the green thing on the shoulder. You want to bring that down. You want to collapse it on this armature. So you want to bring this down like that. You want to bring this up like so. And you want to bring it down. And you want to snap it together until you hear a click. Sometimes you hear it, sometimes you don't. Right? It's more of a thud. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> right? Make sure all of this is dealt away with. And you take this arm, you just rest it on top of the, the back of his head. Right? Back of his head right there. Now this piece, let's get rid of this. Next, you just want to swivel it around. Sometimes it comes off the peg like it does did now, but it easily goes back on. Give me a minute. Right, so you just, come on. Turn it around like that if I am in the right place. All right, so we're going to go back just a second. It's right here. It's going to be right here. Bring that up, and then you want to swivel. See, it comes off when you when I when I swivel it. Swivel it. Uh, you turn it this way. And you just bring it down like that. Hmm? Now these white pieces, uh, they hit, they connect to this part right here, and that part right there. There's a peg. Right, so you just want to bring those in and you got to collapse it to a point where it, where it fits over it.
like that. So it should look like this. And you take the other one. And you want to mushroom these together. Right. Now if it doesn't go, just gotta mess with it just a tad mid. Like that. And you take this piece, flip it down. Right? Uh, next is the uh, tiger's head. You want to just bring that down. And underneath his neck, there's a, a rectangular slot. And then there's a, a, a peg that's on this great thing right here. You just poke it on air. And it's going to prevent it from moving. Okay. From here we can close this bit down over this purple piece like that and from here there's a peg on this back let me see if i can show it to you. it's a peg right there and there's a hole here so you're going to turn this around and there's a peg hole right there you just bring that down you peg it in Now, this piece right here, you just bring it up, excuse me, bring it up, and it's going to peg over this piece right here and this piece, and that piece right there. Same thing on the opposite side, it's going to plug in here, here, and here, well, mostly these two. Like that. You take your leg, bring it back down like that, and you want to swing it around. Same thing on this side. You want to bring it down like that to the side, and then you bring it around like that. Don't mind that. It does that. From here on out, we take this purple piece, and you want to bring it up. So like that. Same thing on opposite side, take this purple piece, bring it up like that. Take this claws, you want to bring it down, swing it around. Same thing on opposite side, swing that around. And what we do here, it's kind of like an automorph type of thing. And what we want to do is you want to shift this way. And you bring this claws out. Like that do the same thing on the opposite side just in case you missed it you want to rotate this all the way around and bring the claws out make sure everything is in this place make that sure that's up making sure that's plugged in you want to rotate these legs down and we just want to manage them so that they, they're in a position like this. Same thing like this, it's on the opposite side. Like that. Now, I like to keep this open again, because if you lock this into place, you're only gonna get that much on the head. And he doesn't look like he, he's looking straight. So I like to go in here, unplug it, bring the head up, and just lay it down like that. I don't mind it being open or anything like that. And we go from here to uh, bringing his uh, mouth open like that. And we can adjust these just a little bit. See, that's all the way down. I really, I like to have it at an angle like that. Now as for the wings, you can have them forward like that. 
You can have them out. Like so, or you can have them way back. Like this. And since we're here again, we can get these guns out. Flip them over. We're gonna get, we're gonna get uh, our our accessories. We're gonna use two, two of them. All right, so let me just put that together. Together, we're gonna use these. I'm gonna use these two instead. We just gotta fix the feet. Bend at, bend at the uh, the knee backwards. All right. We just gotta get it arranged properly. Now, one thing I found out at the last minute is that the there are these 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 paws can rotate to accommodate whatever you whatever position you want to put them in. I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to manage it. There we go. And there you have your Tigertron in his wing tiger mode. Um, bring that down just a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Now those back legs are not supposed to do that. So let me just fix that. Let me fix that right now. And there you have it. Now the mouth is open. We're gonna do a 360. So here it is from the side view. If you look into this corner, you can see the inner workings of the, the transformer itself. Here's the rear. Here's the other side. Here's the front. Now, I want to just pause here for a quick moment. Um, I would like to have seen a little bit more black in these uh, these little details here, breaking up the silver, and maybe maybe on maybe something on the nose. Uh, this gray piece should be white. That's my opinion on that. And then from the top, that's what that looks like. I don't have a problem with that. So yeah. I'm not exactly sure what this is. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. All right, so we're gonna do some comparisons, as always. Bring that down just a little bit, can you? No, there we go. And first up is going to be Rise of the Beast Air Razor. Which is a deluxe and you have a leader on this side. There it is on the side. There it is. From the back.
Here it is. I noticed that. Next is silver bolt. Bring that to the front. Let me adjust his wing here for a second. There we go. Now his front paws are, are better on this one. Root is from an angle. There it is from the side. There it is from the back. And uh, you have this side. Hmm? Get that out of here. Now get it back. Oh, yeah, before I do the transformation back, let's go for articulation. As you can see, you can go all the way back to there, to the back of this thing right here, and you can swing it all the way to the front to hit uh, the back of his leg, I guess. You want to, I'm guessing here. Um, the foot, you can do this with the foot, right? Rotates. You can do this with the leg. If we, if we can hold this. The leg does go movement. Let me hold the move. Let me hold this down. The leg, the lower leg, can move back and forth. I can see if you hold this, this can move back and forth. There's no swivel other than up here. The hind legs, then go all the way up there. If you want to move that out of the way, you can. You can go all the way back until it hits the back leg. You can move the leg all the way out there if you want to. There's a swivel here that's still still there. And you can definitely move this up and down if you need to. Again, point this out. You can swivel down here. I'm not a fan of this being out. I thought it plugged in. But it doesn't because there's a little. I'm gonna see. Let me see if I can. I have to take the light off to actually show you this. Hold on. Uh, all right. So there's a little square here, and there's like a, a peg there, or what I think is a peg. And I thought this was supposed to fit in there, but it doesn't. Um, not a fan of how far this sticks out, but that's just me. Ah, uh, the head. Head does not rotate this way nor that way. You only get that far up, and all of the, you can get all the way down like that. But you have to close this, and I don't want to do that. We can take that off. Move that to the side. Now the tiger's face, it could be better. Um, let's bring in Tigertron. And that head scope of a tiger is way better than that head scope of a tiger. So we're gonna go back into the robot mode, which is very really easy. So you wanna flip these away. Or you can keep them out. It's up to you. If they decide to make any more uh, special effects parts for this piece right here, I will definitely pick it up and demonstrate that for you, ladies and gents. Um, we're going to stretch these legs out like so. Let's see. All right. We're going to flip this around. Like that. Bring the leg down like that. You're going to take the heel. Bring this all the way out like that. I'm gonna take this purple thing, we're gonna bring that down. Like that. Let me see if I can darken the picture just a little bit. 
Oh, same thing on the opposite side. We're gonna bring this around. Plug that in, take the heel, bring that out. Take this purple thing, bring that down like that. The legs are already good to go. So you wanna separate from the side. Like that. And like that. Now we need to unlock this. And you do that by unpegging this arm here. Like that. Bring that up. And we need to unplug the bottom as well. So we want to separate these two things right here. Bring this out. Bring this out. And you want to unplug it. I didn't mean to do that. My word. Is that going to stay? Let's hope so. Bring that out. And uh, bring this all the way out. Make sure. Now, to get this out of the way, just bring this back. If we need the wings to get more room, you can do that too. Right? So we take these two pieces, we bring those down like that. And you want to turn this way. Now, it does not turn that way. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna have to I'll put this back on. Anyway. It does not turn that way. It, it's, it stops somewhere. You only turn them this way, not that way. Right? So like this. Okay. You want to bring this out like that. Like that. You're going to pop this back on. I might need to put um, some nail hardener on those pegs to beef up this section. You take this piece and you want to bring it backwards like that. And you can bring that down like that. All right, so here we are, right? Okay. So the first thing you want to do is going to grab the noggin. And as you can see, I'm having a hard time getting that. Yeah, right, but we got it. Did we got it? No, we don't got it. Let me get it. Hold on. Get yourself a tool. Drag that out. Like that. And you're going to bring this piece up like so. Now, and you're going to connect it to this this peg here. There's a peg here that you, that you locks on to. So you do that like that. Now it looks like a mess, but trust me, it's going to the payout is is coming up real soon. So you take this this leg. And you just might make one motion, bring this around to you, and you bring it back like that. Make one motion. Again, bring it around, turn. That's the second motion. And you bring it back like that. You can just leave it like there. All right, so the chest is going to be next. So you take the chest on either side. You want to bring them in like that. There's a peg here. And there's a hole there for the opposite. So you want to bring this in. You have to adjust it so that it pops in. Like that. And you do the same thing on our opposite side. You bring this over, do some adjustments, and you plug 
that peg into that hole. All right. From here on out, we could bring the whole backpack up and plug it back into place. Right. Move these arms out of the way. And you definitely want to move this out of the way or it won't plug in. Right. So it has to be up like that. Plug that in. Lay that down like that. All right. We're going to take care of the legs. So you have the legs on this armature. You want to bring it around like that. You want to turn the leg like this up. Same thing on the other side, bring it up on our armature. Flip, right? And then you want to bring the leg down. You want to sandwich these two together. Make sure that's all together. So the feet are, are done, the legs are done. Let's move up to the arms. Right, so we're gonna undo this piece right here. Undo that. You wanna grab the hand, bring that out, close. Do the same thing on us this side. Find the door. Get the hand out. Close. Now there's a, a, a slot right here and then there's a peg there underneath the, sh uh, the shoulder. So you want to peg those two together. It's kind of like guesswork trying to actually... Well, you want to do the same thing on the opposite side. We're going to turn the bicep so the hands face forward. Bring this piece down. Make sure that's make sure this is out of the way. Now we're going to take these these uh, these legs and the claws. We're going to bring around the shoulder. And there's a slot right there on the shoulder. Can't see it because my light is too bright. Right there, and then there's one right over there. And you just want to plug those in. Same thing on the opposite side. We're gonna have to fix that. Bring the part claws down. All right, so last time with this piece, hopefully. Bring this up. Make sure that's down. Turn the head, face it forward. Make sure that's down. And all you have to do from here is manage the wings. So you so what I like to do, I'd like to bring them down here. Put them at an angle. And I think that's I think that's where I'm gonna keep them at. And as for this lion, I mean, excuse me, tiger's, as for the tiger's head, you can just bring that down like that. Don't close this because you're going to need it. And uh, that's about it. I think that's it. That's it.
He is top heavy, so you have to mess with him just a little bit more to get him to stand properly. So we're going to do some comparisons. Uh, first, you want to bring in, we're going to bring in Air Razor. And we're going to bring in Tigerdron. They're both deluxes. Against uh, a little class, we have dinosaur Megs and Dragon Megs. I do believe they're both leader class as well compared to him. So we're gonna put these guys in the back. We're gonna bring in the group. I don't have my Transmetal Primal anymore. So we're just gonna have to use Prime here for that. Rhinox. Tidor, the one that came in the five buck set, much better than this one. Core class, Rat Trap, uh, we're going to move this over to the side, we're going to put Tigertron here. Will he stand there? One second. Uh, I'm running out of power. Wow. All right. All right. So we're gonna put. We're gonna put. Uh, let's put it over here. For now. Yeah, we're gonna put Primal over here in this corner. Okay. So that's how all that looks. You can see the scaling going on. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen when or if we get Transmetal in this season. Uh, I wanna say season, excuse me. Uh, in this series, um, which is Legacy, or are they gonna give it to the uh, next series, which is um, Prime, Generations Prime series. So we, we, we're on the lookout for that. Uh, so we're just missing three characters at the moment. We're missing Rampage, which, which is definitely gonna be a leader class. Um, Death Charge is gonna be a leader class, and Quick Strike might be a deluxe. Might, I'm taking a guess, it's gonna be similar to Scorponox. And that's a guess, but then again, it could wind up being a core class uh, character. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I uh, do answer comments here and there. Um, just let me know what's going on. Uh, very soon, we're going to finish off the Tobot series, second series of Tobots. And then uh, from there on, I'm still searching for a Gears. I have not seen one in a Target anywhere. And further note, this guy was originally, I mean, Tiger Hawk was originally $54.99. That he was on sale at Target for $22.49, I think he was. Came out to like $26. I think it was only for like a week or something like that. But that was the only week you can get like two 
two liter class for like 50 bucks. So there you go. I'm going to let you ladies and gents go and I'm hope I see you in the next video.